Hey y'all, I'm Fanny with Team Foreigner, and as you can see, it's time for new taillights. After almost 10 years of adventure, the taillights on our Foreigner started taking in water, so it's finally time to replace them. We're gonna take this opportunity to compare three different taillights before we choose a winner. We're gonna look at everything from brightness to pricing and everything in between. Let's get started. We'll start with the most important thing, price. Here we have two models from Archaic and one from Alpharex. This one is in red smoke, but it also comes in black smoke. Is it all smoke black? They range in price from the mid 300s to 500. And if you're tight on budget, you'll be happy to know that the more affordable ones actually come with more features, at least based on the descriptions. But more on that later. As far as packaging, everything worked out a little backwards. The most expensive one only came with molded foam, and in my opinion, that doesn't protect the lens. But I'm no packaging expert, so let me know in the comments if you think differently. The mid-range came with laser-cut foam, and it had film over the lens. The cheapest one actually had the most protection. It had laser-cut foam, film over the lens, and it also came wrapped in a bag for extra protection. So let's get into the features. They all come in smoke, they're all plug and play, and they all seem to be good build quality. But if you remember, the two more affordable ones did seem to have a few extra features, such as the animated startup sequence, which will take your truck from MS-DOS to Windows 11. But that may or may not be your taste. They also have sequential turning signals, a feature so cool that it might actually motivate all of us to use our turn signals on the road. We're gonna put these lights on a head-to-head -head battle for brightness. The only way we know how to do that is with the light meter. The only place we can do that is outside. Let's go. We understand the lux meter may not be the best tool for this, but it is a control, so that's what we're gonna use. So we're out here on a dark gravel road. It is pitch black out here. We're gonna toss the drone up, see if we can notice any differences from above. Then we're gonna bust out the lux meter and measure which light performs better. <laughs> we're back from the field, and although the drone was a good idea in theory, tail lights aren't meant to project like headlights. So we didn't really get the effect we wanted, but we did still do the measurements with the lux meter. So let's dive into those numbers. We set up the lux meter at the three foot and 10 foot mark for consistency. Then we cycled through the various light settings for each light. We tested daytime running, brake, reverse, and hazards. And as you can see, the competition eventually came down to two lights. And for whatever it's worth, the numbers matched our eye test. Now that we've seen the quantitative breakdown, let's look at the qualitative one. The archaic lights were the most budget-friendly, and they had the most features, so if that's what you're looking for, they're definitely the winner. And although our stock lights are now kind of a fishbowl, they actually held their own, and they pretty much got the silver. However, the Alpha X outbeat almost every category for all the lights. So, that's what we chose.